I'm Phil Mansbridge. I'm the Executive Director of ProVeg UK. We're here in London at the end of a two-day event called VegMed, which is all about the power of plants and the nutritional benefits of a plant-based diet. Yesterday was for medical professionals, so that was doctors and students, and today was about bringing that message to the public to a wider audience. And over these two days, we've had talks from some amazing medical professionals, nutritionists, dietitians, professors, and doctors who've shared data, who've shared fact, who've shared case studies, who've shared testimonials about the power of plants and what they can do to help your body. So not just the environmental benefits, the animal benefits, but actually the health benefits is where we've been really focusing in on. I think at the end of these two days, I have mixed emotions. I'm sad that the days are over, but I'm also relieved that the days are over because it's been a lot of hard work pulling together such an array of speakers and uh, such a large amount of guests, a lot of moving parts to make an event like this happen. But ultimately, the feedback's been great. The talks were fascinating, really interesting. Overall, super happy with how the event went and just so grateful that so many people came to hear the message. So the reason we brought VegMed to London is we wanted to bring it to a wider audience and we felt that now's the time to do that. So we've had VegMed in Berlin before. It's always proved really popular with some great talks, but there's a real growing movement in the UK and there's a wide audience of people who are interested in plant-based nutrition and we just wanted to just bring that outside of Berlin, make it more accessible to people. And hopefully this is the beginning of something new where we actually can see it, not just in the UK, not just in Germany, but in other countries as well. So I like the format that we've just finished now. So we obviously need to have a think about how we would work that if we did it again, uh, would we do the same way? Personally, I like the, having a separate day for medical professionals, and medical students. I think that's really important. And also that day was actually CPD accredited. So it means that it's part of their ongoing continued professional development. I think that's important. I think that's a real hook as well to show the credibility of the event. But I also like that we opened it up to the public as well. I think these things live to a wider audience when the public gets involved. And we had a lot of passionate and knowledgeable members of the public come today to learn more and to really learn data that they can then share with a wider audience. We were honored to have some amazing guests over this last two days. And those guests included Michael Greger. He's a best-selling author. He's uh, authored How Not to Die. He's He's about to launch a book, How Not to Diet. He's got the How Not to Diet cookbook, and he runs nutritionfacts.org, which gets multiple thousands and thousands of views with his data that he uploads almost on a daily basis. He's a real celebrity in this world. He's very credible. He's got a lot of experience, and he had a big fan base as well. We also had uh, Dr. Michael Clapper, MD, who's been a practitioner for, I think, almost 50 years, and has been plant-based himself since the very early 80s. So he's got a lot of credibility also, and he's very passionate about what he spoke about. He's passionate about making sure that we talk about diet as an issue when it comes to medical diseases and diseases which are preventable and reversible. We've had Gemma Newman who uh, really integrate in plant-based into her practice and we actually heard from her some testimonials from some of her patients on video who just followed her advice and had dramatic changes to their lifestyles, to their diseases and to their conditions. We had Brenda Davis, who's a dietitian, very expert in her field, giving us some amazing data and some amazing facts about um, her subject areas. Uh, we had Neil Bernard as well, again, a very well-renowned MD, and he was talking about disease and how plant-based reverses some diseases and how it can so many diseases can be prevented. We heard from a lot of people that the number one killer disease-wise is actually lifestyle-based diseases uh, which come from diet. Ultimately that's the source of the issues like heart conditions, diabetes, etc. And we saw how just some lifestyle changes can make such quick and dramatic changes to prognosis. So we've had a really nice array of speakers uh, throughout both days.